G'day guys, Booney here with the uh, Humberbird Pro Team and today we're talking all things lithium batteries and DC chargers. So I've had my lithium now for a couple of months and absolutely love it. So I've got the, the BLA Marine Performance Series. Get a better look at that. Yeah, this way. So this is a 24 volt. This is only a 50 amp. So we've got the little uh, the battery temperature sensor there on top. Yeah, so it's only the 50 amp 24 volt. And we've also got the master volt. Mac Plus 12 to 24 DC to DC charger. So, yeah, like I said, it's been absolutely amazing. So I'll talk about uh, the DC charger first. So when we've got this running, when we've got this running in our boat, we've got the motor running and we're running around. So that, that is punching out around about 20 amps. So if that lithium went, went fully, uh, nearly fully empty or discharged, um, you'd only need to be running around for maybe two or two and a half hours um, and it'd, it'd be charged up again. And like I said, when you get home, <laughs> say hello. Hello. <laughs> he just wants to get in the action. Um, he's itching to go for a fish, so we better get, we better get this out of the way quick. Um, uh, yeah, I so it was off. no, it's on. Because it's not going on the back. All right, can Dad just finish what he's doing? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Uh, yeah, so even when, yeah, when you get home with the main charger, you plug that in, and yeah, two two and a half hours from fully empty to fully charged again. So you get home, you clean it, your gear up, you go and you have dinner. You ch and you have you've had your charger on, and you're batteries ready for the next trip or the next day so that's awesome i remember with with the uh agm batteries you know we'd be charging them we'd put the charges on and then it'd take all night like you'd have them on overnight so yeah the the charge time on these things is amazing uh the weight so this is only around about 12 odd kilos i think uh if you had one one 12 volt agm you'd be looking at 20 or 30 kilos easy you know what i mean so we've probably essentially gotten rid of two AGMs with just this one here and we've oh be a quarter of the weight at least you know what I mean so and you're not busting your <laughs> busting your back trying to you know when you're putting them in and taking them out that sort of thing either with it's nice and light so yeah that's it and yeah the electric motor has been loving it so we've got the Minn Kota Altera uh, 24 volt 80 pound up the front there so if you were doing a lot of uh, still fishing, so if you're staying still for a lot and you're not doing much moving around on the main motor, so you're fishing like impoundments for barra and all that sort of stuff, I'd probably recommend going the 100 amp hour um, because they, like I said, in the salt where we, we move around a lot and you know the Rockhampton net free zone, it's a, it's a big area. So sometimes we might do an hour's run to get from one spot to the next. So if you turn your DC charger on, you can, I've got something behind me. If you turn your DC charger on while you do an hour's run, you can nearly put half of your battery back into that one, half of the charge back into it. So yeah, so it's all about the style of fishing that you do. Like I said, if you're doing a lot of running around, grab a DC charger, you get away with your 50 amp. If you're sitting still a lot, then maybe look at your 100 amp hour. Oh, one thing I almost forgot is, so with your BLA lithium battery, it, uh, it comes with Bluetooth, so you can Bluetooth it to your phone so you can see everything that's going on. So we'll have a quick look at that now. Alright. Oh, better not show you the code. So we'll go across to BLA Lithium. Hopefully you can see that alright. Launch. So there is our... I'll try and get that in the shade if we can. So there is our percentage, so it's sitting at 65%, 20 degree, 20 degree temp, 26 volts. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to turn the isolator on. So we're gonna turn our DC charger on and we'll just watch this change. All right, so charger, uh, charger on. All right, so you'll see that standby, standby is now going to charge. You can see there, so we'll flick him over here and have a look at that. So that's the top right hand corner is now saying that it's uh, 
it's punching 19 amps into that battery. So I won't leave it on too long because I don't have the motor running, but that's what I want to do. So when the motor's running, flick, the, flick your charger on and off you go, and, and uh, yeah, it'll, uh, it'll punch a fair bit of charge into that, no worries at all. Very cool. Absolutely wonderful, yeah. Definitely worth checking out. Lithium batteries, DC chargers. Uh, jump on your uh, jump on BLA and have a look at them.